Okay, I have a problem with small talk. I'll touch on that later. So I decided to go on a journey in my mind to put things into perspective. But first, let's take a peek to have an idea on what it's going to be like. Idea number one. This will be a lot of me talking. Well, here I welcome to me. It looks nice and inviting with uncanny sub notes. Yeah, I guess that's me. Let's start with this one. I'm not avoiding. Normally I'd dig a hole in me and then fall into it, but this time I decided that instead of falling in, I would willingly go in. But I need a set of tools to do this. First of all, I have to be able to see things from a distance. I'll need a cover to protect me from the outside world. Legs to stand still or escape. <laughs> and some power within me to keep going. All right, I'm ready for a fancy retrospective now. Oh, that one. This is not an era I'm particularly proud of, I'll say that. Something was missing, but I wasn't sure if it was something missing in my life or in me. So I heeded a call, again, not sure if it is life or me. That in itself is a difficult distinction, whether it's something inside me or outside me. Inside becomes outside sometimes. Then you realize there's nothing left inside. You're empty. Here's something to focus on. Emptiness. Absence. Lack. You look. All those voids. Ha! Huh. Then this emptiness starts to make sense. The nothingness turns into something. Recently, my daughter told me that she doesn't want to be a mom. Anyway, I have never been a fan of small. Never mind. Being needed by someone gives you a power you didn't even know you had. Chill down, Layla. You know when you get a song stuck in your head and it doesn't go away until you listen to it because you've left it unfinished? Mm, my marriage is not going very well. And you know what scares me the most? Being an only child facing the death of my parents all alone. You realize the value of time when you lose it, like everything else. Even if I say let's stop and let everything go, I still won't have time to do everything that's left in me. My fertility is ending, my body is aging, my, okay. I was just going to take a peek, but I forgot and got carried away. Let's leave it here for now. Now let's take a look at the popular destination of the journeys through memories. Childhood. I found a robot in the nooks of my mind. How long have you been here confined? Oh, looks damaged and old. What made your heart grow so cold? So you unplugged your wires. If I replug them, would you tell me your desires? I've never seen such a contraption. No wonder you malfunction. Mm. 
Okay, that's enough. The rest is spoilers. Before finishing the preview, I'd like to take a quick look back to my adult life. Oh, as a child, when my parents sent me to the village to stay with my granny, I spent most of my time in this treehouse. It looks neglected, almost forgotten. I'm happy to be back to this memory. The more I think about it, the more vivid the memories become in my mind. I guess aging is partly the wisdom of understanding which memories you should cherish and which ones you should let fade. Ah, it's smaller than I remembered. adult life. Get the idea. We can skip this part. Let's see.
think that's enough. Now I know more or less what I'm getting into. 